Hi, I'm trying to find a prime number, but it's taking me forever now. Even though I was able to find two before, like this and if I actually found nothing, I move on immediately. I can't have a hit rule for that, because that is just a normal thing when I do big numbers. Many numbers at this point do not work, and in this case I have zero prime factors before the computation time is exceeded. This is the most common way it ends. But here we get one that comes up later. Ten to the two four five minus one. It's all one four thirty nine. But I can't just do a really huge number and expect it to be a prime most of the time. It would not be because it would have shown at least one prime factor in most cases. And in this case, it happens half the time I check, and the remaining half of the time I check, it returns nothing, or at least comes up one later. But this finds nothing. And this also finds nothing. No prime factors, really disappointing. But I still have to use this. And no matter how big the numbers get, I will keep trying. This is a 240 now. minus 1. We will keep trying. Now, once you get to that decimal approximation after the partial factorization, you're done. The standard computation time is exceeded. Suggesting that they should go to full, oh, but it, I can't pay money for that, which is why I can have to use normal for prime alpha. Let this find something above. So we can go digits to six. Now it says one, three, four, five. Four is in digits in a row. And now I'm just enter for this. I'm not going to go back because I don't feel that this will be anything special at all. Third time in a row now, it might happen up to 20 times in a row. I might go back on this one. It's 18801. And then, I don't know, maybe this number is probably it's just too late to know. Now the next one, one of uh, those is nothing as well. Oh, wait, what happened? Did it try to load an image and then it took a while? I'm moving back. Actually, the number ended up finding nothing as the final result. 229. We've lost 60 digits now over just changing the powers. But we found a wand. Now we've lost 57 digits. Once again, like last time, we found this six digit prime numbers. So, here's the 226 and the 227. Well, I did the same as the other two, but found two prime factors. 226, so it doesn't. 225. Same. But like the other two before, the one that didn't work earlier. So now I find two small prime factors. One is just the M251 7. Don't go further. So we've done down 28,860 digits. Wait, now I'll go back. Like earlier, but we hope to find a big number. I think I've reached the limit as to how big prime numbers can get for my version. They can only go up to six or seven digits. <laughs> there, seven digits we go. But most of the time it goes up to six digits. If it even finds any prime factors in the first place. Now, that property about the double factorial, in this case, is just a simple factorial function, you can actually say for that for some reason. Now, 263, we get this took a long time. We'll keep dropping this down and down because I 
some problem in it. If two bigger ones are found, thank you. But if this one won't find anything. I might have missed a couple of crimes like this one, the crime is only five on. But if I factor in that, it's never going to get something like it will work. If I did something like that, it wouldn't get you anything. Because uh, it was 212, right? Oh, how do I find an 8 or 9 digit? I don't understand. Maybe this was an algorithm that just. Oh, I don't know. Three point two, or something that remains two. Two zero nine is next. So two zero two one zero is also. Whoa! Finally! Yay! I thought I'd just go down to two oh nine, but yay! <laughs> Might be the largest prime factor if I've ever seen one like this before. It took four seconds. There is one 11 digit and one 8, which means I lose 18 digits. I lost 18 digits. Come on.